Metroid Prime. I like this game. I wish I could throw it on the TV though. Who's at the door? Oh, an Amazon package. What do we have here? The Wavelink Dock. Six in one Steam Deck Dock. Well, this will be pretty neat. Maybe I could finally put the Steam Deck up on the TV. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Spice Vader. It's been a little while since I've reviewed a Steam Deck dock, uh, but today we have the Wavelink 6-in-1 Steam Deck dock. So let's get this opened up and take a look. Wavelink did send this to me, and this is sponsored by them. So let's take a peek at what we got today. They claim it supports 4K at 144, 2K at 165, 1080p at 240 hertz, 85 watt power delivery as well. So we're gonna take a look at these claims and see how legit they are. It also has a one gig LAN port. So let's crack it open and take a look. Ah, hey, that's pretty nice. I like the braided cable on here. Let's see what we've got in the box. Looks like we've just got some safety information. So read that at your leisure. And we've got a little QR code instruction manual. Now this doesn't come with a charger in the box, so you're gonna have to supply your own. I recommend using the Steam Deck charger, but you can use anything up to 100 watt USB-C PD charging. Got HDMI 2.1 two 10 gigabit per second USB 3.0 ports, and it looks like a USB-C uh, data only port, so that's kind of nice to know. I don't believe that this does video out through this port, so you can only do HDMI for video out. It's kind of nice, you get a USB-C pass through for other devices that might need to connect. Uh, this seems to be made out of metal. Yeah, this is pretty solid. I like the weight to it. What do we have for weight? Can the dock's USB ports connect USB flash disk or mobile hard drive? Yes, you could do that. Yeah, there's a question about the 4K at 144 hertz. I don't have a 4K 144 hertz monitor, so I can't test that, but I do have 4K 60, and we can definitely test that out, and that should be a decent stress test for most scenarios. And then, um, it's just the same thing again, but in German. Überblick. Yeah. Anyway. So the few devices I have today, I don't want to test with it. So we've got the Steam Deck. And actually, let's see how it sits on it. Hey, that sits in there nice. Very sleek. I mean, there's no branding on the front, so it's not, you know, obnoxious. There's the Wavelink up on top. But, you know, that's small, pretty small footprint on your desk. And let's check the connection. The cord's a little bit longer than, like, the Steam Deck dock. That one was kind of short, right to the point. This one's got a lot of extra tails, so you could plug in devices that are a little taller. Yep, clips in nice. I like the thickness on that braided cable. Let's check the weight of this thing for now, just to keep it all. So it's 5.1 ounces. That ain't bad. And the dock measures at five and three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch tall as well. Three inches from back to front. So today, I'm going to test the Steam Deck, a Microsoft Surface, my Nintendo Switch LCD original, a Galaxy S22 Ultra. Can all these devices plug into the Wavelink dock? Let's find out. All right, we've got our setup here. We have the Wavelink dock, so let's hook it up and see what it does. Yeah, we got a power light, so that's good. Ah. Look at that. That's easy peasy. <laughs> uh, the Steam Deck is emulating a little slow here. It's passing through the audio though to the screen. You can hear that. That's audio coming through the screen, though not coming from the Steam Deck itself. So let's try switching resolutions. You can see it's supporting all of them so far, so that's good. Now let's pop back in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now my emulation's running better. 
This isn't anything to do with the dock being slow, that's just the Steam Deck being kind of underpowered to do GameCube emulation at 1080p, apparently. This seems to be working just fine. Let's test some other devices and see how it works. Let's test out this uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'll put it on its side here. Okay, connected to external display, that's a good sign. And Samsung DeX is loaded up. Look at that. Easy. This actually is kind of neat because if you use the touchpad mode on DeX, your phone can just sit right in it and then you can use it as a touchpad if you don't have like peripherals hooked up. Speaking of peripherals, let's make sure these USB ports work on it. A little stiff on first insertion, but that's fine. We've got mouse, we've got keyboard. Yeah, that's working out just fine. Let's test another device. Now this, I've got the, uh, I've got the keyboard, you know, the folio attachment. So let's see how a Surface tablet sits in here. Eh, it's a little leaned back, a little more than I'd like it to be, but you could flip it out set it in there like this and you know whatever do whatever you need to do uh, so this is a surface go to you can't really set it in there very nicely you're gonna have to prop it up let's try this long cord and see how it does hooking up to the USB-C port on it and we've got keyboard and mouse still so that's good and there we go so the dock works with a surface go to not bad at all the next thing I want to check, that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, if the Nintendo Switch works with this Wavelink dock. Now I know that there's some special stuff in the docks that need to support the Switch, so we'll see what this does. If this does work, oh man, it's going to be huge. So USB-C port is on the bottom on this, so we'll prop it up on end, and we'll stick it in and see what happens. Oh my goodness, it actually is. Are you kidding me? This works with the Switch. Oh my goodness. This is huge. They didn't advertise this on the box. I don't see this anywhere. It just shows Steam Deck, Rog Dock. Yeah, they're not saying Switch anywhere on here. Steam Deck, Rog Ally, Lenovo Legion Go, MSI Claw, Tablet, Cell Phones nothing about the switch and we totally got the switch working on here i didn't have to do anything just plug it in now i am in my uh mummc mode on here which shouldn't have any effect because there's no special software that i have that allows this to work i'm gonna take my children's switch that doesn't have any uh hackability to it oh children I only have a couple minutes before my children come after me. I stole their switch, so I'm gonna see if this works. Let's prop it up on end. I don't have much time. It's totally working. It's totally gonna go. Boom! Look at that. It's not work when it's docked. Look at that. That is awesome. And sound just popped right through. Automatic TV. 480p mode. Yep, that works. 720p mode. Yep, that works. And obviously 1080p mode works. That's so cool. This totally works with the Switch. So, there you go, Wavelink. You can add that to your product page. Works with the Nintendo Switch. Well, let's put the Switch back on and see what kind of power it delivers through that. Because this is hooked up to a 65 watt charger right now. And we're getting readings of 6.5 watts, 14.7 volts at a half an amp. And that's charging, it's showing the switch is charging. So that's good. Let's try with the Steam Deck plugged in. 35 watts, 2.5 amps. So that's totally working. Yep, that's delivering the juice. And we can see the Steam Deck is charging there 86 percent so that's working okay i think for the last test i want to load it up with everything plug everything i can into it and then hook it up to the 4k monitor see how that does i'm gonna hook up a classic logitech mouse here and then we'll hook up this mono price 
Annoying mechanical keyboard. It has LED lights in it. That's a lot of things hooked up now. And we're up to 1.92 watts used, doing nothing. I want to hook up Ethernet too, so we can really, we could test out that Ethernet jack, because I forgot that it has one of those too. So we got the Ethernet port on the side. Okay, blinky lights are a good sign. That means we're Ethernizing. All right, Wavelink. Time for you to impress me. I'm gonna put my Steam Deck in backwards so we can see the dock here. I'm going to hook all this jazz up. All right, things are lighting up. We've got 38 watts. Well, things look like they're working. I'm going to switch to desktop mode so we can actually test out things. Look at that, that's 60 hertz. That mouse is smooth. It is totally working. Oh, that's totally working just fine. Let's see if the external drive, yes, the external drive is, is showing up too. Everything is there. Doesn't feel too bad actually. I mean, they said something in the manual about it heating up, but I don't feel anything on it. Yeah, that's the Steam Deck. And then we actually go to the dock. 31 degrees, perfectly cool, no issues. Let's do a fast.com test. There we go, that's my full internet speed, 250 megabit per second. Perfect, seems to be working. Let's do one last test, and let's hook up the Framework laptop to it and see how this does. Everything's lighting up, and we're gonna pop this out to the recommended 4K60. Zero issues, zero problems here. And we'll look now, the wattage is 19 volts at 2.6 amps, drawing 50.3 watts. Let's throw a game on and stress test it a little bit. This is totally working. Still drawing 49 watts. Yeah, totally works. This dock is great. I have no complaints. It's not overheating at all. Like, it's not even getting warm. Well, there you have it. That's the Steam Deck dock from Wavelink. This is a real decent product. It works with everything I tested it with. We'll test the iPad Pro from 2018 with the USB-C port. Did this last time with the Steam Deck dock. Still doesn't fit in this dock very well, but kind of hangs on. We'll end more with the Switch working on it too. It's crazy. It's $40 right now on Amazon. And I think there might even be a 10% code you can check out as well and save a few bucks that way, but totally worth it. Totally would recommend getting this. Here at Spice Vader, I won't recommend things that I don't believe in and I won't try to steer you wrong. If you need a cheap dock, this does it. It's made out of metal. It's nice, solid quality. You could put the Steam Deck in it, obviously. I don't have a ROG Ally to test, but I mean, I'm sure it would work just fine. You saw all the things I tested it with, so it'll definitely work. It does what's advertised and more. Get this Wavelink dock. I want to thank Adam from Wavelink for sending this over. Uh, appreciate you working with me on this and totally would recommend this to your customers. Anyway, um, that's all I had for today. If you want to know more about this, check the link in the description for this Wavelink dock. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care and God bless.